Hello, Anthony Fasano here from Pass the PE Exam. In this video, I'm going to talk about what you can expect after you have taken your PE exam. How long will you have to wait for your results to be available? How can you obtain your license if you passed? And when will you be able to start practicing as a licensed professional engineer? This episode is brought to you by PPI, a leader in engineering exam prep for the FE and PE exams since 1975. PPI provides expert prep courses and study resources designed to help you pass the PE exam the first time. PPI's live online courses include hours of lectures, problem solving demonstrations, exam strategy sessions, office hours, and the passing guarantee. When you take a live online course, PPI guarantees you will pass or you can take the on-demand course for free. With study guides, practice exams, and more, the PPI Learning Hub offers digital practice and review that you can take with you anywhere you have a device so that you can prepare during the times most convenient for you. Check out PPI today at ppi2pass.com to see all the options available for PE exam prep. Let's dive in. After months and months of studying, you finally took your PE exam. Whether you felt confident or unsure after the exam, you'll have to do a bit of waiting before you find out your score and next steps towards licensure. Now there are some important differences between the computer-based exams and pencil and paper exams when it comes to the waiting period, scoring procedures, and the next steps whether you pass or fail. Firstly, pencil and paper exams. Some of the PE exams are still pencil and paper exams. The results of these exams typically take about eight to 10 weeks to be sent out, depending on the licensing board. The process for scoring and releasing results for pencil and paper exams are similar to the computer-based exams, also known as CBT, in many ways. However, there are some key differences. You should receive an email with instructions for viewing your results for the pencil and paper exam, which will be reported as a pass or fail, and you are not penalized for incorrect answers. Next, computer-based exams. Typically, results for computer-based exams are determined much faster than pencil and paper exams. They are usually available seven to 10 days after you take the exam. An email will be sent out with instructions for you to review your results. Your exam results are reported as pass or fail with your score being based on the number of correct answers. Remember, NCEES is switching all exams to computer-based, so the long wait for exam results will soon be something of the past and the PE exam will be offered much more frequently. You passed. So let's say you received your notification and you have passed your PE exam. Congratulations. What happens next? Unfortunately, passing the exam doesn't immediately make you a professional engineer. And a lot of engineers do think it does. Next, you'll need to apply for the professional engineering license. The major steps after passing the PE exam include the following. Applying for the PE license with your state board. Submitting your NCEES record to your state board, if applicable. Displaying your new designation. Requesting your wall certificate. And purchasing your stamp or seal. Now, this process differs from state to state, as does the submission fee, which varies from $80 to over $300, depending on your state. Also remember that in some states, you are allowed to take the PE exam prior to having enough years of experience, in which case, if you pass the exam, you will still need to complete your work experience requirement before you actually receive your license and you're considered a professional engineer. For a detailed video of this scenario, check out the video entitled, Are You Eligible to Take the PE Exam? The link is in the description below this video. I hope you found this week's video helpful. In upcoming videos, I will solve some more PE exam practice problems and answer other questions from our subscribers. Past the PE exam videos will be published weekly, so please be sure to click that subscribe button so that you don't miss something that could make a substantial difference in your PE exam result. We want to help you get that license as soon as possible. And please, I encourage you to ask questions and leave comments below this video, and I will read and respond to them. Let me know if there's a specific topic that you'd like me to cover or a specific problem that you need solved. Pass the PE exam, we'll have you covered.
I'll see you next week on Pass the PE Exam.